Elizabeth Montgomery was born on April 15, 1933 in Los Angeles, California to Broadway actress Elizabeth Daniel Bryan and film star Robert Montgomery. Montgomery began her career in the 1950s with a role on her father's television series, Robert Montgomery Presents. Montgomery's early career consisted of starring roles and appearances in live television dramas and series such as Studio One, Kraft Television Theater, Johnny Staccato, Burke's Law, The Twilight Zone, The Eleventh Hour, Wagon Train, Boris Karloff's Thriller, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. But Elizabeth Montgomery rose to worldwide fame when she was cast as Samantha, the perky witch with the twitchy nose in Bewitched, the famed sitcom that ran from 1964 to 1972. In 1954, Montgomery married her first husband, New York City socialite Frederick Gallatin Kamen, but the couple divorced less than a year later. She then married Academy Award-winning actor Gig Young in 1956. Her marriage to Young lasted seven years. Montgomery married William Asher the same year she separated from Young, in 1963. The couple had three children. The latter two pregnancies were incorporated into her television series, Bewitched. During the eighth year of the show, Elizabeth fell in love with director Richard Michaels. Their affair led to the end of both their marriages, as well as the end of the series. Montgomery's relationship with Michaels lasted only two and a half years, and on January 28, 1993, she married her fourth husband, actor Robert Foxworth, after having lived with him for nearly 20 years. After Bewitched ended, Montgomery starred in the 1975 film The Legend of Lizzie Borden. The made-for-TV movie depicted the trial of the infamous Lizzie Borden. Years later, Montgomery learned that she and Borden were actually related. In June 1992, Montgomery and her former Bewitched co-star, Dick Sargent, who had remained good friends, were grand marshals at the Los Angeles Gay Pride Parade. In her later years, Montgomery struggled with colon cancer, but she believed she had actually beaten the disease. However, in the spring of 1995, she was told that the cancer had returned. Montgomery had been ignoring influenza-like symptoms during the filming of Deadline for Murder which she finished filming in late March 1995. On May 8th, she was admitted to Cedar sinai Hospital. Early on the morning of May 18th, 1995, Elizabeth Montgomery died at home, eight weeks after her diagnosis. She was 62 years old. Her remains were cremated at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell to be notified of new videos.